Uh, today, actually, my own main purpose is to focus on how the variation of different type of birds uh, risk as single or mixed in a pan. Uh, for the protein diets, that's just for the convenience of see the difference. So main focus about the variation of the different system. So my presentation will go through background a bit and uh, about the experiment design. Uh, I will show you the data of the study and uh, we'll have some conclusion. So just some background about the uh, research settings, how you use birds with the different sexes. So as you all know that Feather sexing is not possible anymore for the brothers. Um, for both companies, uh, Ivigin and the Corp uh, Ventures, we couldn't get feather sexing birds from the hatchery now. Um, so what do we do? Uh, at the moment, most people are using the male birds from print lines, either that's the father or the off-sex birds. Um, some people also use the ice hatch birds, but whether these two options are good or not, um, we haven't done much research on it actually. So for the sex itself, um, what we can do if we cannot do feather sexing? Uh, certainly, probably all of you know that uh, there's a van sexing option, but for this one, we need uh, experienced sexa to do it. Uh, as shown in here, you can see it, but uh, it's hard for a lay person to do it. Another way is do the DNA sexing, which you can get up here, uh, just a, a feather and extract DNA from the feather to run a PCR. Uh, in here, we set up a SC called high resolution melting curve analysis, which is pretty simple and can be large scale. So you can tell the difference between male and female through the melting curve. And this paper is uh, nearly published in Poetry Songs. So then we use single or mixed sex birds for research, that's the question. So in terms of the uniformity or variation, uh, we need to have good between pain variation because we want to use uh, limited replicates to get uh, enough power to separate the difference between treatments. And now, um, for the same sex birds, certainly that's what we've been using for long, but now it's a challenge because we cannot use proper brawlers, uh, male only birds anymore. So um, another way is that you can mix the female male at equal number of birds in a pan, in all the pans. So that can give you good in-between pan uniformity or variation. For as the hatch birds, if that's randomly distributed in, in the pans, because they are not equal male or female in the pans, that can have big variation. But just remember, if you're doing research at the end of the trial, you can actually sex birds by opening up. So you can know the birds, I mean, know the sex of the birds in the pens at the end of the trial. Well, that's the three different scenarios uh, we can see here, that's the Male only birds, that's what we've been using. And now you're using the printed lines uh, from the hatchery, which is still sexable, but not for the brothers. And then you can vent sex the birds on the arrival of the birds on the in the facility. So you can actually allocate the birds equally into pens to make it even. Uh, that can give you good uh, variation or, or, or the uh, uh, uniformity. And of course, the option is about, you just 
distribute birds randomly without knowing the sex of the birds. So that's pretty random. You can have, you know, more bird, more uh, female or less female in a pen. <coughs> Excuse me. So the hypothesis we had was that the experiments with equal number of males and females in the pens should have similar between pen variation as single sex birds. That's what we uh, try to hypothesize. And also the use of sex as covariate in the analysis may reduce the variation so we can improve the experiment power if you just use mixed birds with randomly distributed into pens. Here is the experiment we did. So we had basically uh, two levels of pr protein with three different racing system, meaning that in a pen we mix the birds with same, uh, same, uh, same number, male, same numbers of male and females, and the race birds in a pen just a female and uh, another just male. So that's a three different systems. And we used Cobble Field 500 and uh, then three faces. For these three faces, we measured the pen weight, feed intake, and then calculate FCR with 14 birds per pen and eight replicates. So on the arrival of the birds in at uni, we request a, a sexa came over and uh, the birds were then sexed so we can have the opportunity to mix birds equally or put male or female only in the pens. At day 34, we all also measure the individual body weight of the birds so that we can, can have a chance to look at uh, the individual response uh, from the birds by protein level and the racing system. system and we can look at male or female birth response. With that individual body weight, we can actually uh, simu do a simulation as what we put birds randomly in mixed pens, in, in the pens with mixed sex birds. So uh, we just uh, separate protein levels, so we don't mix up with protein levels, but for male, female, we just put them randomly into a dummy pen. So that's the diet we used. Just uh, look at the protein level, uh, about 2% lower for reduced protein and the normal protein that's according to the requirement of the chickens. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's the data we have produced. So for the pen weight, uh, that's the average of the pen we measured. I just show you the day 35 day uh, weight gain FCR and feed intake. So in here we did factorial analysis and we've seen that only weight gain had a significant interaction between gender or sex and the protein level. So in here we can show that for the standard protein uh, feed, uh, the chickens, male, female, and a mixed birds, uh, the, the body weight or weight gain, just, you know, in male, that's higher than mixed, and then female. So mixed is basically in the middle, and it's pretty much like a linear uh, relationship between them, you know. Um, but for reduced protein, the response is slightly different. So for the reduced protein, male is also highest, but the mixed birds and the female birds didn't have significant, significant difference. And the, the level of reduce of the uh, weight gain is also slightly, you know, you can see the slope. It's not as uh, big as the standard protein level. So for the feed intake and FCR, you can see that uh, male birds uh, and mixed birds and female birds. So feed intake is, you know, 
uh, reduced according to male mix and the female mix is in the middle and for FCI it's increased just same response so there's no interaction yeah so uh, for the CV of the performance you can see here and the mixed birds is pretty much the same as or sometimes lower uh, as the male female uh, so it's pretty equivalent and now, if we look at the individual birds at the day 34, so the female birds and uh, male birds, they have uh, the body weight is, is different. And also the protein level, the reduced protein level has lower uh, body weight at day 34 for individual birds as well. So in here, we only look at uh, the sex by diet interaction because it's significant. And in terms of the analysis, so because of the racing, I just uh, 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 didn't mention, racing didn't have the uh, significant effect. We can mix the male, female uh, at different uh, protein level uh, indep independently. And then we can look at the coefficient of variation at day uh, 34. So we can see if we put sex percentage as covariate, the, this is the we call uh, ANCOVA. The variation is significantly different. We had a dummy run of 10 uh, simulation, so we can do statistical analysis. And it's pretty much equivalent to the half-half male-female. So, uh, it's looking good. So take a home message. Uh, we can see from this trial, the female birds respond to low protein diet differently from male birds. Um, seems not as much as male birds. And maybe the requirement of the protein level for female birds is different from male, of course, but the uh, breed spec may be more rely on male birds rather than female birds. And also equal mixed male and female birds in a pen has similar variation as single bird sex birds. So the last probably it's more useful by, by the use of sex as covariating analysis, we can use randomly distributed birds in the pens. So you don't have to sex at the start of the trial, but you can open up later on so that you have the number of birds as, uh, I mean, number of male, female birds you can use as covariate. So uh, that's the team. I uh, acknowledge everyone contributed to the project, especially Kors and uh, Ashley. They too did the trial and analysis as well. Uh, we actually just finished a trial recently. And also for the uh, animal, facility at uni. They did a fantastic job on uh, setting up the facility. Uh, and of course, AgriFutures for the funding of the project. And everyone in the poultry group at uni, without them, the sampling and all, all those um, activity wouldn't be possible. Thank you, everyone.